Hi, awesome day. This is living great with your friend Al Castro. I'm happy to see you once again today to tell you that you are loved, to tell you that you are very important, to tell you that you are very valuable, that you are great, that you are so precious, that you were created in the image of the mighty God. <laughs> He died, Jesus Christ died for you, to redeem you, to help you, to bless you, so that life will become better, not just for here, but in the eternal life that He promised us, alright? Today I want to share with you a wonderful uh, message from the book of Proverbs chapter 11, verses uh, 23 and 24. I know you will like this, but I want to remind you today that life is like a blank sheet. As we move on in life, our story is being written. So make your life, life a good story. As you write it down every day, the book of your life. Alright? Have good decisions. I learn from mistakes and failures. Learn from many things in life. Keep loving. Forgive. Bless people. Turn the negatives into positives. Turn the doubts into faith. Because you're a champion, a winner, and a victor. You are very important. That's why I'm speaking to you today. To just encourage you that there is a great potential in your life. A great potential in your life. There is healing from God. There is blessing from God. Alright? Alright. Share. I'm going to share with you today. This word from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 23 and 24. Alright? Okay. Here it says, the desire, the desire of the righteous is only good. The desire of the righteous is only good. But the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There's one who scatters, yet increases more. Mm -hmm. And there is one who withholds more than is right, but leads to poverty you will be maybe you would question about righteous the desire of the righteous we become righteous we're not righteous through what we do we're not righteous because we go to church we become righteous when we accept the righteousness of Jesus Christ he died for you we ask for forgiveness we believe that he did that for us and by believing and asking for forgiveness we become righteous to His righteousness. Because Jesus is the only one that has no sin. That's why we pray to Him. We pray to God, the only God who lives again, again. Not anybody else. So you become righteous to His death on that cross. Alright? Accept it in your life. Believe Jesus Christ. Alright? I have a great message for you today. Alright, let me share this with you. It says here, The desire of the righteous, the desire of the righteous is only good. Because our hearts are changed, we desire to do good things, great things for my good, for your good, for the good of your family, for the good of your neighbors, for the good of your friends, for the good of the community, for the good of humanity, for the good of the country, for the good of the universe. That's why when the heart is changed, the mind is, the mind is changed. Instead of thinking bad things, uh, things that are uh, that would distract, destroy people, we would think of how to build people, how to encourage people, how to bless people, because we have a changed heart. That's the fruit and the result of being a righteous person. Oh, wonderful. The expectation of the wicked is anger, is hatred, is wrath. But when you become righteous, your ex expectation becomes different. You expect greater things. You expect, expect bless, uh, better things. Expect the best things in life. Why? Your desire, your desire becomes the desire of the Lord. And the desire of the Lord becomes your desire. It's always positive. It's always for the good of everyone. You always improve yourself. You always develop yourself. You always... Uh, Build up yourself, you equip yourself for the betterment of other people. And the tendency is you to inspire other people too. 
So expect great because the moment you become righteous, hmm, faith grows. Life becomes different. All right, that is wonderful. It says here, oh, there's one who scatters, yet increases more. And there's one who withholds. The one who tries to keep, keep things, they never grow. But the one who shares them, wow. The one who shares them, the one who invests in knowledge, the one who shares, the one who waters others, the one who helps others. Oh, wow, this is wonderful. And the one who, they would increase more because you tend to give. The one who gives, the one who gives, that's the secret of a better life. Sharing it, you'll add more. Blessing others, you'll add more. Loving others, you will be loved. Helping others with a good motive, you will become a better person. And that is the real secret of life. And when we do that as a habit, as a lifestyle, our life becomes better and better because we contribute to other people. We contribute to our family, to humanity, to our community, to our country, to the whole universe. Because our mindset becomes the mindset of God. We become different. We become a full human. We become a world-class people. And that's who you are. That's why I'm encouraging you to do great things. Because you're great. Alright? May this um, thought bless you today. Alright? Expect great. Because you are great. A champion, a victor. And never ever give up on your goals. Never ever give up on your, your dreams. Never ever give up. Keep on moving. Don't let sickness stop you. Just keep on moving. Don't let negative things stop you. Keep on moving. Because you got a great potential in your life. Remember this. Never give up. Alright? Have a positive mindset all the time. Faith mindset all the time. Always pray because God, God listens to prayer. Prayer of faith. Amen? And, and all things are possible with God. Alright? Check, it, check out my uh, my Facebook, Al Castro. I have a lot of postings for you there. And, you know, if you have some uh, prayer requests, write us as 15949. Write us. 15949 Kaplan Avenue, Seed of Industry, California, USA. All right? You take good care. This is your friend Al. Live great because you are great. Thanks.